In the mortuaries and funeral parlors of Hong Kong, the remains of COVID-19 victims have piled up faster than the staff can manage. Public mortuaries have had to find ways to triple their space for bodies, borrowing facilities from a nursing home and charities, while the number of available coffins is running low, and hygiene officials say their crematoriums are running around the clock. They are all grim signs of the city's battle with the fifth wave of the virus. The extensive backlog of paperwork for the victims has also forced some bereaved relatives to endure long waits to collect patients' bodies. A 36-year-old Kate told Reuters she wasn't able to see her father-in-law before he passed away. When the doctors and nurses thought my father-in-law's situation was not okay, we rushed to the hospital, but it was already too late. Since he was in the isolation ward, we couldn't see him for the last time. To add to this, outbreaks nearby are making it hard to even pay respects. Hong Kong is dependent on mainland China for nearly all of its coffins, as well as paper offerings used at traditional Chinese funerals. But a surge in cases across the border in Shenzhen has delayed the delivery of many supplies. Lok Chung, a funeral director in Hong Kong, saw 40 funerals in March, up from the 15 he sees in a normal month. That's probably uh, the worst situation uh, that I've, I've ever seen in, this pro in my professional career. I've never seen so many bodies that they have been piled up together. I've never seen the family members being so upset, so disappointed. Since Hong Kong's fifth wave began earlier this year, more than a million COVID-19 cases and over 8,000 deaths due to the disease have been reported.